talking about people like Francis Atwoli, David Morave, advising the president. W what, what is this about? All right, earlier on I was asking about people like Francis Atwoli, David Morave, advising the president. W what, what is this about? No, you know, I mean, David is my friend. I have a lot of regard for him. I mean, if he advises the president, I have no problem. I mean, he has the right intellect. He has the right personality. He has the right, you know, he's a man of all. I like him a lot. He's my friend. But, you know, but let me ask you, what advice can Atwoli give to the president? My foot. <laughs> what can at all is barely literate. I don't think he has gone to. What, what advice can he give to a president? Uh, I know he's one of your good uh, customers when he comes to your show. But what advice can he give to president? Uh, may, I may, maybe crack jokes. <laughs> Graham Muller. Or let, throw telephones. <laughs> let, let, let's face it. A lot of what he has predicted has come to pass. Let's face that, Graham Muller. No, no, please don't insult the intelligence of Kenyans. Atwoli, Atwoli is a, I think he's the chairman of Kenya Horticultural something Workers Association. <laughs> what has he done for workers? I mean, he has killed the trade unions. I mean, the trade union was a very important uh, player in Kenyan politics and Kenyan economy. Where has he, what has he done with the, with, with the Lepe Union? He left that. And then he's thrown, I mean, he's running around, you know, bedlin uh, rumors as advice and... Uh, it's unfortunate, you know, that's, that is the tragedy of Kenyans. I mean, a trade union, unionist, instead of helping the workers in this country, is fighting William Ruto every day, is fighting other politicians, is addressing prices. Why doesn't he perform his day job, mm. which is to better the lives of the, of the workers he represents? All right, that was last week right here on the bench with the Grand Mullah, Senior Counsel Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi, talking about you as a trade unionist and i know a lot of trade a lot of your members are watching tonight and i'll get to that in a moment but first lazima mjibu you know this is a right of reply <laughs> no i didn't i don't need to because uh, if you want to know who is illiterate it is him the work of the lawyer is to construct memorandum of companies to build constitutions uh, to build structures and uh, to look into those positions who are heading those positions, that is the work the lawyers do. Even the registrar of trade unions must be a lawyer. You see, mm. anybody who is uh, in, uh, be it in uh, labor relations courts must be a lawyer. If a lawyer doesn't know the position of a leader of trade union movement in Kenya, he calls me chairman of a trade union. I don't know of which union. Mm. Is he qualified to talk about me? He doesn't know the position I occupy in labor movement. For his information, free of charge, mm. I have never been a chairman of a trade union. <laughs> a chairman chairs the meetings. <laughs> the CEO of all trade unions, yeah. if it's private to any trade union constitution, is secretary general. That is now court. Affiliate of court, you are a general secretary. Secretary General. Mm. I'm a secretary, secretary General of the Central Organization of Trade Unions. I'm not chairman. So that depicts the picture, how illiterate, who is illiterate between me and him. Okay. And let me tell you, it is not all lawyers who are learned. If you saw his performance when Jubilee hired him, 2017 mm. uh, 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 elections dispute in this country. Yeah. And I think that is why the, the jubilee dropped him he's bitter he's talking about ruto he's talking about everybody he doesn't know that africa asia and latin america we are turned independent through labor movement we are a pressure group and when i was elected i promised kenyans that kotu the central organization of trade unions in kenya will operate as an alternative organ for national guidance we guide the nation okay and it is not only here two he's bitter because I've been a director of National Bank for 16 years. And at one time, he, 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 he placed in a fee note of the work that he had not done it, amounting to about 100 million. Yeah, you, you mentioned that I already. I mentioned that. Yes, yes. So, and a lot of things. And you know, if you want to know, it's not cool. 2014, he was hired by NSSF to defend the NSSF against the NSSF board, appointing me and Jacqueline Mugo. He was paid uh, in advance 10 million. 
I hired a junior lawyer because my senior lawyer, senior counsel in Judith Buzero was in the US. I hired a junior lawyer who is a lecturer in the Kenya School of Law, Achiando, with only 300,000 shillings that court paid him. And, and he outwitted him. Okay. And we are taken back on the board on 20, 20, 2015 September. Watch what you, his arguments when we had that 2017, as I said. Yeah, he, Can you compare him with Paul Mwangi? Okay. Can you compare him with Amodo Tiende? Can you leave alone Orengo? Okay, let's switch gears This now. is a man who survives uh, on blackmailing. He's known. Has he been elected? Has he faced an elected position? Is there is somebody who reminded him from Canada. Huh. And he brought all my elected positions, both local and international. I forwarded the same to him. Okay, SG, let's switch gears now. You've said you said your son. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. Okay. Look, uh, let me tell you No, something. wait, 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 wait. Let's switch gears. What is your problem with Deputy President William Ruto? No problem at all. Huh? I've said this on several occasions. No problems at all. No personal problem. Even if you invited me tomorrow, I will take you there and we'll have a cup of tea. If I invite him, he might not come or he might come. 2014 is when I predicted that this is not the right person to deputize the president. I have said it 2014, immediately after 2013 elections. I have said it 2013, uh, 2015, 2016, 2017. I've been on this bench telling you that he requires to hire good advisors if he was sent to power. At one time, I reminded him, and that clip has been going round that he would have had a chance or opportunity of only five minutes to meet the retired and the late President Daniel Troitich Moy. But he tried. Five minutes. He tried. He did not be late. He was dismissive. This is a young man who by sheer good luck, or I don't know through which way, he managed to get some little man around him to end up into his head, could not listen. Moy would have told him as a deputy president or as a vice president, he would have given him a lecture of five minutes how he can use that important position to ascend to power. And you know, anybody who used to see him, he knows each and every. You can't. I said this, this young man, he's a good fighter. He's swift in moving. He's a good politician. He can go places, but he requires an ardent, experienced advisor for him to ascend to power. But SG, tell me something. That, that is how I disagree oh, with it. Oh. Because, and let me tell you before I finish. Yes. Moi used to tell us, Sia Sambaya, Maisha Mbaya. If today, and I'm saying here, and now, on a national television, if Kenyans made a mistake and elected William Samoy Root, they will regret. That Why will be the beginning yeah. of Maisha Mbaya for Kenya. Why do you say that, SG? Why do you, there was a deal that was made between the two of them. There was a deal. Why if, do you say that now? If we make a deal and you don't respect me, does that deal weigh water? Nothing, my friend. We make with you a deal. We are friends. We have, we are have, every evening we are having a deal of having Klemvidish in the evening. We're at our rest place. Mm. After 10, 20 minutes, I find you in my bedroom. Can that uh, deal hold what? Okay, so what went wrong, SG? What went wrong between this relationship? Because let's face it, they were friends. Let, they used to dress the same. They used to, you know. Uh, you know, I think, and there is no a person who can persevere for a long time than President Uhuru Kenyatta. It took him a long time to persevere William Samoy Root. Why? of which he couldn't take his father to Pasafia, the late Jaramogo Gingo Dinga, the father of uh, our prime minister, Raylo Dinga, of which even Kibaki did not take one day to listen to Raylo. Immediately after the elections, uh, uh, the NAC elections, he rushed to Sagana, and he worked out on the cabinet, telling him this is the cabinet. Mm. He didn't take even one day to Pasafia and listen to him. But Uhuru took five years when we were making noise, here there is a wrong person in the right position. And some people thought it was personal hatred. It wasn't a personal hatred. Why do you say he's the wrong person? He harbors hate. He knows each and everything. 
He articulates the policies of the head of, 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 of the government when the head of state is there sitting in any function. He behaves as if he's already a president when there is a sitting president. And he doesn't forgive. Can I tell you what? You remember a young man from my country called uh, Echesa? Rashid Echesa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He wronged me. I have, I have forgiven him. Three weeks ago, I called him. I had one day praying that this is a young man who has future in Western Kenya, and William would have forgiven Jirongo. He was a driver to Jirongo. And he says, Jirongo Hakujipanga. What about if he became a president? He was his driver. He was recruited by Cyrus Jirongo. Okay, so you seem to have a personal grudge no against... No personal grudge. You seem to have one. No as personal... You. I'm just trying to tell you if he had the right good advisors would have told him, look, you, the head of state is a head of state. A head of state is not a, 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 a local chief. He's not an assistant chief. He's not an MCA. He's not, uh, he's not uh, even a local member of parliament. He is a head of state. And a head of state, even if it's your brother, like you are related to the head of state, your dad is his uncle. <laughs> the mom of the president is your aunt. You are related. <laughs> yeah? But you are always here. You cannot force your way to state house. No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 I can't. So the head of state, and you are in the same political party, you must respect him. Okay, so you... All of us, we ascended to these positions we have yeah. because we respected those who are there before us. Okay, let me ask you this. Can, what does Ruto need to do now? No, now he has done a very good thing. I think that advisor who advised him to keep quiet is one of the best advisors. Mm -hmm. If he keeps quiet like that and uh, let what has got to happen happen, uh, let him not be confrontational, uh, let him be remorseful. If it were me, I would look even for Raila Monodinga. I would have breakfast with him. I would look for those people that he thinks, people like Matian, and try to mend my fences with them. I would look for those people who are perceived opposed to me and sit with them and mingle with them and forget about politics for three, five months and then say, gentlemen, now can we start? You see how the things evolve fast, you know? Because let me tell you, Jeff, there are two things. There is no shortcut to riches. You can take it or leave it. You must struggle to become rich. Forget about those people who say, we want to make money. We want to, riches are not made. Money are not made. Money you earn after working. Mm. Riches, you toil to be a rich person. You work for it. You must deliver. Mm. You must soon be delivering. Through shortcuts, that your riches will just pass through shortcut again. And the other thing, there is no shortcut to political evolution, political changes. There's no shortcut. If he understands those two things, he must humble himself. Okay, he must humble himself. But then you and your Kanu have now come into the bedroom because you're Kanu Damu. Yes. So now there's Senator Gideon Moy, there's Deputy President William Ruto, and they don't get, it's like oil and water. Let me tell you, Jeff, every region has its own problems. Even if you came to Western province where I come from, for a long time I've been trying to put our leaders together. Yeah, you, you haven't been successful. There are, there are, there are you still, haven't been successful. Yeah, yeah, and you find some, they are good, yes. The ordinary Kenyans, the ordinary lawyers are together, but we'll find leaders suspecting one another. They don't want to come together. Even those who pretend they are working together, somebody wants to keep his own small party, his own small party. They don't want to dissolve parties and come together. This, in every region, you go to Eastern, go to Kamban, you will find uh, such like differences, political differences, everywhere. Uh, come to Kikuyu land. Find these young men, they are saying we are with the deputy president. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the majority in central province who are saying far, they are saying a, a leader is a God given leader. 
no guarantee that you throw the one you have and then you will be able to get another one. Those debates, are, the debate, such debate is going on in Central Province. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that uh, Rift Valley is not unique. You will find, and not only this time, even during those days when Moi was there, we had people who are opposed to his leadership at that particular time. I don't want to mention them because I knew them very well. Most of them are no longer living. Mm. And uh, more used to get opposition from that uh, particular region. So it will not be unique for Ruto. But what I know, Ruto is such a rude leader. If he can be a comp compose himself, humble himself, get good advisors, he still have an opportunity after 2022. What do you 20 mean after? Not 2022? Not 2022. Huh? Not 2022. This one I told you. I told you 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. Why? 2020. Why? Because you see, I've told you there is no shortcut to political changes, in other words. There's no shortcut. There are people who fought. Brilliant leaders like Paul Joseph Ngei. Masinde Muriro, very brilliant leaders. Serone, I wish you saw them. Mm. Arab Taita Tawait in Rift Valley. I remember. Yeah, I remember. Very brilliant leaders. But more imagined, he became the president. In the Kikuyu land, build a Kagia. We had leaders. Eh? Koinange, the old man, mm. eh? the advisor of our leaders on the continent of Africa, the Koinaga, the name you carry. Mm. It's not an easy person. You might not have seen him. Um, I saw him myself. Mm. I listened to him. He came to my place to do a rambe for us, for our schools when he was the Minister of Education. Mm. Very brilliant fellow. You did see our Foreign Affairs Minister, Dr. Njoroge Mungai. Yes. This one, it was brilliant. You did not see Njindo Matiba whom everybody thought he would be a president. Yeah. Eh? The one who died recently, our first African mayor. Yeah, Rubia. Charles Rubia. Mm. These were brilliant leaders, but all of them, Jaramogo Gingodinga, who was the most popular in Kenya, just like his son. He never ascended to become a president. So if you put all those people down there, you must tread carefully when you want to become a president. But because and also you must know uh, presidency, that particular position. There are a lot of interests. It's not only that when you have a mama and support of people, not everybody, the market people, the people on the roads and streets cannot make you a president. Who will make you president? The deep state people like not you? Not deep state. It's you people. Interests, both local and international. You must be measured and be seen that you are up to that particular high level of providing high quality leadership. But let me ask you this, SG, the sympathy vote is swinging towards the deputy president. Let's face it, the sympathy vote, the hustler nation. They're all saying, you know what, you made a pact. Let me tell you, there is nobody who has had sympathy votes in this country more than Raila Amolodinga. And even the, the people, who, the competitors, they go to bed knowing we don't know what will happen tomorrow. It might be 50-50. And sometimes you can be convinced this fellow won the election. So don't worry about the sympathies drifting or so and so is having a lot. Things change in one, dramatically things have changed. Mm. And you can see even what is happening now. People will change in two minutes' time to the elections. So don't be deceived. If popularity was to make somebody be a president, Joseph Martin Shikuku, who was my MP for 36 years, would have been a president. He could not walk on Nairobi streets, people mobbing him. As a popular politician in this country. Okay, so... James Serone. So are popular leaders. So, so what is the end game here, uh, SG? <laughs> what is the end game? The end game is that uh, the 2020 elections. 2022. 2022 elections, yes, sorry. 2022 elections lies in the hands of the handshake. Can't take it for free. Whoever they will settle on, if they don't, I don't know. 
if they don't disagree. But as I've told you, in politics, one day is a hundred years. <laughs> you know that. Anything can happen at any time. There is not that guarantee. That is why I'm telling you that even if you ask me who will be the president or who will be the presidential candidate or who will win 2022 elections, I will tell you I don't know. Can't lie to you. Will William Ruto be on the ticket? Yeah, of course he can be on a ticket. He might be on a ticket, not most likely Jubilee ticket, but he can be on a ticket. On a ticket, even you. You can form your party today. Mm. <laughs> That's what the Constitution provides. And you are allowed to be on a ballot box. But you can't win elections. That alone cannot guarantee you to be a, a victor. Will Gideon Moy be on the ticket? That one I can't tell you. But currently, you know, I am Kanu. We are closely working with Jubilee. And we will decide when the time comes. Jubilee might decide to go its own way. Or that coalition might remain and others come in to build a very big coalition. Will Raila be on the ticket? That one I can't tell you up to now. Is there I've, as I've told you, anybody can be on a ticket at any given time. Is there anything you can tell me? You seem to be on the, sitting on no, the fence now. No, but I told you even when I was here on 23rd of October last year, please wait until 2021. Even us in Western Province, we are going to have Buhungu too, 2021. If we did it right now, we will be lying to Western Kenya people that we know where the political direction is leading us to. So it is not a question of uh, saying, in politics, I've told you, one day is like 100 years. I was asking you last time when you were saying, oh, we have Tanga Tanga, we have Kieleweke, we have what? Oh, this one has majority in parliament, has majority. Let nobody deceive you. Politics is, is you know, at one time, and I reminded you this thing. We went to see the late Sharif Nasir. Mm. He was a very good leader. After Ronald, He was a psychophant. Not a psychophant. He was. He wasn't. After Ronald Ngala, he led the coast people in a very wonderful direction of politics. He was the most undisputable leader of the coast people. And we went to see him in Mombasa as labor leaders because of problems facing workers at the coast. We wanted his intervention. The old man told us, gentlemen, when we asked him because we were nearing the elections, how will it be the elections? He told us in a Swahili word which says, siasa, siasa. <laughs> Siasa. Siasa. You see? Yeah. And uh, at our place, there is a reptile, a, something which looks similar to a snake, but it's not a snake. It doesn't bite. It has no head and doesn't have tail. Sometimes it's swallowed by, uh, by, 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 by any bird, big bird like mm. uh, eat a, a hen or something like that. But then again, it will reappear. It has no head. If it hits this way, it starts going this way. It hits this way, it has no tail, nor a head. That is how politics is. So right now, to be sure that so and so is going to be a president, that's because you can remember very well when Moi was retiring. So many people thought Musaria Mudavad, who was around him, mm. could be a president. People didn't know Kibaki was going to become a president. And even when Kibaki was retiring, he had made a proposal that Budavadi would be the right person because mm. nobody would re-elect a Kikuyu. Yeah. And who emerged from nowhere? Can, he can, became popular. Can Mudavadi still be? It, it depends, I don't know. He's still a leader. Anybody in leadership, anything can happen, as I've told you. You don't dismiss a political leader. All right, let's take a break. But you can predict on what will have to happen. Yeah. So a viewer is asking before we go to break, what is your track record politically? What numbers do you command? You have never proved that you have numbers, and we know you don't control the, the labor movement. I do. You don't? I took labor movement, Jeff, when we were part 300,000, when we had 300,000 members. We are 4 million members of the Central Organization of Trade Unions with 44 affiliates. 
When I took over, we had only 17 affiliates. And so many more who have applied to come on the board. We are undisputable in Africa. We serve the Nigeria, Labor, uh, Nigeria uh, uh, Labor Congress with 5 million, Koto with 4 million, yeah. Ghana with almost 1.5 million, and then COSAT, which used to control with 7 million. Now, because uh, when we started, we had Kano in Koto and so we went down to 300. Now, COSAT is also going down in South Africa. Mm. So we are still the giant of Africa. And that is why I speak for Africa. Okay. We'll elect somebody who doesn't have following and membership. And that is why I'm number two in the world, Jeff. So <laughs> listen to me, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if you see somebody, these people who normally complain, yes. say, oh, Atoli does not command anybody, Atoli yes. is the labor movement. Yeah, Atoli needs to retire. They are, not, they are not members of the trade union movement. Under this corona problem, we have entered into a wonderful agreement between Koto and the government. Yeah, but uh, and between my union and uh, the employers but a lot of to your, keep jobs. A lot of your people are out of work. Yeah, because of the situation that we are in now. But they are protected simply. We have an agreement after coronavirus. They will okay. claim back. Their All right, let's take, let's take a break. Come back. I'm going to ask you about uh, one Dr. Mukisa Kitui, who you disagreed with a while back. But you patched up. No, yeah, of Could course. he be a candidate? Yeah, sure. Huh? No, he, I don't know whether he would be a candidate, but he's one of the bright... He is a bright man. Uh, ...sons of this He country. is a bright man. Yeah. Keep tweeting. SG is in the house. He says he still commands a labor force of what, Absolutely. 4 million? 4 million. Wow, that's a huge electorate. Keep tweeting. At Kodanga Jeff. At Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag. JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back. And we'll answer your questions in a little short while. Back in a moment.